Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna cover all my favorite things in my kitchen. These are things I get asked about all the time and a few things that maybe you haven't even noticed in my kitchen but are really awesome and cool. I will have everything linked in the description below this video. Let's get into it. Here we go. I'm gonna start with the most popular thing in my kitchen. My air fryer. So I have the Cuisine Art uh, digital air fryer, the large one. There is one a little smaller and there is one that is not digital. It just has the knobs. It has a lot of different features and functions. I usually use this for our sausage for Beckett. Sometimes I cook steaks in here, my wings, my chicken skins, I crisp up in here as well. This is something it took me a while to get on board with when air fryers first were becoming popular. I really thought, uh, why do I need an air fryer? I have an oven, this is just a fad. I don't need one of these until I got one. And especially with kids, it's just really convenient to have something I can throw stuff in, walk away, leave it. I don't have to worry about Beckett coming and touching it or messing with it. It does take up quite a bit of counter space. I hate losing counter space for appliances, but I do use this one. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I have had a Cuisine Art air fryer since the beginning, the same brand. Now I've went through two because I had the smaller one and I wanted the bigger one. I gave the other one to my mom, so she has an air fryer just like this one, but she has the smaller version. Please ignore the dishes in my sink. I live here. Uses all metal. It's just basically a tiny oven and we use Barkeeper's Friend to clean it. You really do need to keep up with the cleaning. This part gets pretty gross, but it's okay. I soak these in the sink and then put them in the dishwasher. I don't think I'm supposed to do that, but I do anyways and it's fine. The second most popular thing in my kitchen is my ice maker. I have the GE Opal and Ken bought this for me after I got pregnant with Bonnie. He felt bad. I was nauseous all the time. This was something I'd been had I had on my wish list for a really long time. So it makes the nugget ice, the sonic ice and how you fill it up you just take the drawer out and then you fill up the reservoir and stick the drawer back in it actually did come with a additional reservoir that you stick on the side that just kind of was another part for me to have to deal with i don't mind taking the drawer out and refilling it i keep a picture of reverse osmosis filtered water right here next to it and it's not a big deal. I don't mind filling it back up. I absolutely love it. I 10 out of 10 recommend if it is in your budget. To go along with the ice machine, I recommend a really good tumbler. This is the one that I use the most. Uh, it's the Stanley flip top. If I knock it over, things don't come pouring out with kids. This That is very nice. Another thing that we keep handy in our kitchen, assortment of electrolytes. For our water element doesn't have sugar in it which is nice for me has a lot of salt content a thousand milligrams of sodium 200 milligrams of potassium 60 of magnesium i really enjoy these they have some crazy cool flavors this one right here is mango chili i put that on my avocados i know it's weird chocolate salt and that is usually what i put in my stanley tumbler is water and electrolytes as usual element gives you a free sample pack of eight different flavors. We can use my link on the screen or in the description with any purchase. Definitely take the time to check them out. They're not just good for people who are on the keto diet or low carb. Honestly, electrolytes are just good in general. So make sure to check out that link in the description for your free sample pack. Thanks to Element for sponsoring this video. I will say the ice machine is a bit noisy but you kind of just get used to it. So the next thing I get asked about a lot in my kitchen are the oh. knives that we use. Hello, Lily. We use Cutco knives. This is a set that I bought Ken for his birthday slash Christmas last year. And it comes with a bunch of different kinds of knives, cheese knives, steak knives, the scissors, comes with the stabbing fork for carving the turkey, <laughs> a bunch of different things. They are beautiful and sharp, sharp, sharp. Okay, guys. Oh my goodness. They're so sharp. If you cut yourself with these, you won't even feel it. That's how sharp they are. You can even get your name engraved. I took the time to do that. I just thought it was cool. 
people love these knives. They have a lifetime guarantee and they also come with a little Cutco sharpener. I haven't even needed to use this yet. It's a little dirty. We've had several sets of really nice knives. We bought some from William Sonoma and they went dull very, very quickly. I have still not sharpened these. I haven't sent them off to be sharpened, but you can. And I think that it's free, but don't quote me on that. But we really, really love these knives. You can get different colors, of course, but I went with the white. 10 out of 10 recommend looking into these for maybe your Christmas or anniversary present because like I said, they're not cheap, but I do think that they are worth it. Now some really basic things that just make my life easier in the kitchen on my stove. This is just a rubber spatula holder, which may not seem like much. I used to use the glass pretty cute ones and they weren't really that functional. I found this one. And what you do is you take whatever spatula that you're using and then you just put it right here. And so it drips into this rubber pan, which you can just wash off in the sink or put in the dishwasher, but you can do multiple ones, which I, sometimes I'm using more than one special at a time if I'm cooking a few different things. So I really love this thing. It's so simple. It comes in different colors and uh, yeah, I got it on Amazon. So it's also from Amazon, which is what I put all my spatulas in. Shout out to my girl for sending me the Huzzah spatula and the Love You Mean It spatula. Thank you. Love you. You know who you are. This is sectioned off into three different sections. And it fits perfectly right behind the stovetop. So I really love this. It's just way more functional than the circular ones because I can kind of space out everything and see where everything is without digging for it. Especially when it comes to... The tongs, I just stick on the side there so they're very easy to get to. Over here, this is a little spice rack, also from Amazon. Um, you, assembly required, so you do have to put it together, but it wasn't that hard. It's made from bamboo, I think. I'm not really 100% sure, but like I'll, I'll link all of this stuff, like I said. And it just gives a little bit more elevation to put the spices that I use the most here. Now, I do have spice racks that are built in. I use a lot of spices, guys, okay? I use a lot of spices, and I don't want to have to go digging. I have anything that can save me time, I am here for, and that is what this does. So I can just reach and grab really easily while I'm cooking. On top of here, you will see the famous bacon grease container. This is also from Amazon. This is the best way to store your bacon if you're going to leave it out. You can put it in the fridge if you want to. I do not. I don't even strain mine. This one does have a strainer. This one doesn't. I like this one the best. It is ceramic. It comes in a few different colors as well. So if you don't like blue, I think there's a white one and a red one. But that's where I keep my bacon grease. I also keep it in here sometimes if I have a surplus. But right now, I do not. It's all in here and it's only a little bit. And that's making me very sad. I also have a diffuser in here just to keep it fresh when it's stinky. I've got tangerine going right now. And... Beckett really loves to help me put the oil in here. And I use Young Living Oils. Super cute diffuser. I've had it for a really, really long time. I also love my HomePod. I play music while I cook. And me and the kids just have a good old time in here dancing and cooking and listening to Fleetwood Mac usually. <laughs> this little doohickey over here too. Shut up. See, it's just so noisy. This little doohickey also from Amazon. It's just a tiny vacuum cleaner. I keep it in here in case there's crumbs on the counter and I just want to really quickly suck it up. And it comes with this little attachment too. And it's actually very powerful, surprisingly powerful for such a tiny little vacuum. And it's cute. And it comes in a lot of different colors too. So those are the things in my kitchen that I use basically every single day. I love them. Um, they were worth the investment for me. They make my life easier. Highly recommend everything that I mentioned in this video. If you have any questions about any of these things, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer you um, in all my free time, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got any value from it, please hit the thumb and the subscribe button on your way out. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in the next one. Love you, man. Bye.